Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about a subscriber question, so let's get into it. And the question in question is, Frederick, is C Sharp easier to learn than Java? So, well, that, that, that is a... Well, that is almost an impossible question to answer, if uh, I'm afraid to say, because if you think about it, I mean, I've done both C Sharp development and I've done Java development, but I learned Java first. It was the first, first of the two. So, if you think about that question, then how could I, ac you know, as an individual, how could I accurately measure which one was easier to learn? Because if we, you know, learning something, just programming in general, or learning Java as the first language is going to take more time just because the concepts are new, not just because of Java, but because of the, well, you know, you're learning programming for the very first time. But once you know that and you have a little bit of familiarity because you're acquiring experience, well, learning the next thing is going to be easier at the very least because you have already accumulated some knowledge about programming and that's the way it usually goes in software development or well, programming in general the first first language is always the hardest one it doesn't really matter which one you pick it's going to be the trickiest one because everything is completely fresh to you and once you learn that going into the next language is although it might not be something you do in a day maybe it's going to go much faster because you already know how all the different data structures and constructs and all of that good stuff actually work but if i were to wager your guess well have a think about how to compare these two languages and these rather these two platforms because it's you see just learning the basic syntax of these two languages will be fairly straightforward i mean they're they're very similar like in terms of just how expressive the language is, there isn't a massive difference. There are differences, but it's not huge. So it's going to be fairly on par. C Sharp have, has maybe a few more things to touch, like a few other things embedded into it as opposed to what Java has, but the differences aren't that, that massive. And just learning that well that's going to be pretty equal for you and if we then talk consider okay learning the entire platform in other words being able to do it at the professional level if i were to wage you something i would say that i think it's also fairly it's fairly equal with like i'm gonna i'm gonna raise my finger and say one thing and that is that it might be slightly faster with C Sharp. And I'm only saying that because C Sharp and like the Microsoft ecosystem is very streamlined in general. It's a very closed environment uh, because they've structured their entire platform in such a way that once you know C Sharp, you very easily ha have access to you know, tools like Xamarin or .NET and so forth and so forth. So the it's very like it's a very good ecosystem to go into and to adopt but on java side although java has all the same things it's much more diverse because it's not one single organization that is in control of everything it's not optimized to be there is an ecosystem but it's not as tightly knitted or tightly coupled as it is in c sharp and that is a good thing and a bad thing. For learning purposes, I will argue that that's a, that's a very good thing. But there are, of course, downsides to it in that you can consider. But that's just my general thought on it. But I still don't think that the that should determine which of these platforms you go with. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go with C Sharp or so forth. I'm simply stating that the question, the fundamental question, which one is faster to learn, shouldn't really be the most important one because we're not, I mean, it's not like learning C Sharp is going to take 10 years and learning Java is going to take five years or like vice versa. We're talking about a time difference here of almost nothing and it's also going to be very individual it's going to be there's tons of factors that play in so i'm saying that it's almost pointless as i said like we circle back here now it's not almost like to the point where it doesn't really matter because it really like for learning speed purposes it doesn't really matter all that much 
But what is important for you to ask yourself is what your goal is, because the goal is the important part here. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that once you learn these, one of these languages, whichever you start off with, you're going to have access to be able to do certain things. As an example, if you want to do Android development or mobile development, then Java is the way to go. If you want to do, well, you can, of course, do that with Xamarin as well. I'm not stating that you can't, it's just that it's a bit of a difference between the two and what you can actually do which each like what each of these solutions are good at doing and that's the thing that you're really going for here you should really have a think about whether or not the outcome of learning one of these languages is what you want because it might be the fact that you are interested in doing things that say Java is very good at or you are interested in doing things that C Sharp very, is very good at and then it doesn't really matter you know then that's the thing that should be important because at the end of the day the time it takes you to learn these platforms is going to be very like very closely like it's going to be very similar but the end result that's the thing that's because once you learn it guys everything is going to be easy well quote unquote easy and then the only thing that really matters is okay Am I empowered enough to be able to do all the things that I want to do? That's the thing that you should should really focus on. So what I want you to take away from this is that when it comes to comparing how fast C Sharp is to learn versus Java, they are very similar because basically, well, the story goes basically that Java was invented, C Sharp is based on, like, like almost derived from Java, and they are so similar at this point, like they are ex extremely similar. So the time difference in learning one over the other is going to be fairly small. Although C Sharp may be a sli slightly faster and slightly more optimized for learning purposes. It, that's just my personal ex experience. But at the end of the day, it really the it, the differences are so small that w you shouldn't even really consider it all that much. What you should focus on is focus on is if whether or not the platform that you go with is going to allow you to be able to do the things that you want to be able to do. Have a great day.